Hey guys, so for this video, I'm going to show you how to make a spout, a uh, slab built spout um, that looks like this using a paper template that I will also show you how to make. So, and for those of you that are my $10 patrons, um, the uh, slab built spout template that looks like this will be available for download. Um, okay, so here's an example of the slab built spout to fit a coffee pot, looks like that. So I'm going to show you a really great method for designing your own slab build spout first. Okay guys, so you can see I'm using a folded piece of paper that looks like this, just folded in half with the crease forward. I'm using that to create the profile of a spout. Um, I actually have a couple of marks to kind of help me here, but what I'm basically doing is just drawing using the edge of the pot like this to sort of indicate where uh, the spout is going to start and stop and what angle it's going to be at coming off the pot. So, then I'm going to take my kind of rough sketch here and follow it along with the Sharpie. And one thing to keep in mind is the top of your spout is always gonna be slightly curved. So rather than the top square edge to the piece of paper, it's going to be a little bit of a curve like this. So that's gonna be our spout template. So it's a good idea to make one of these, cut it out, try it, and then adjust it. Um, so here I have the cutout version, right? You can see it looks, fits miraculously well. It looks just like that. And you can see when we cut this out and place it to the pot, it makes a really nice shape for a spout. And then what I've done is cut a flat sheet of clay out using this template. And I've used that to make this spout like this. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate that process for you now. Let's go for it. Okay, guys, so here's the paper template we just made. I'm going to make the slab um, about a quarter inch thick. You can see I have a piece of rolled slab that I firmed up a little bit. So this is not like a super wet, freshly rolled slab. It's been sitting out for a few hours. And you can see we have about a quarter of an inch there. Um, that's a pretty good thickness to start from. So. What we're going to do is just cut out our new spout by holding the paper template. You want the knife to be uh, perpendicular to the table, so you're not going to make any like angles in the cut at this point. The type of knife that I'm using is actually an X-Acto blade um, that I've altered. I believe it's a number 11 blade that I've altered a little bit. And what I mean by that is you can see I've removed a bit of the back of the blade right here. This used to be um, used to be straight like this. And I just removed that much of the material there. And it just makes the blade thinner and it lets you cut through the clay more easily with less resistance. Okay, so here's our cutout piece with square cut edge. Um, the next step is we need to taper the front edge a little bit to be more like this edge. So this is like tapered as opposed to being square cut. So I just, I just gently tamp the clay down like this. And then I've got, um, it's still fairly thick, but it's starting to kind of thin and taper and roll out. So I'm gonna flip it over now and do that again. Um, on the other side like this. So you can see in the cross section it is uh, about a quarter inch thick and it tapers down sort of to a point like a wedge and that's the first step. Okay the next thing we need to do is make the spout bent in half. So what I like to do for that is actually lay it over the edge of the table like this I'm just going to gently kind of crease it 
over the edge of the table. I don't like to take it all the way up to the end, um, but just enough to get a little bit of a break like that. All right. Now it's very important that the edge of the spout, or the pouring edge, be tipped out quite a bit. So I'm just going to slowly stretch this part out. Like that. And then I'm going to push out from the inside and make a little bit of volume uh, start to happen on the inside surface of the spout. And this isn't totally necessary, but the last thing I like to do is just use a roller. This is just a one inch wallpaper roller um, to just kind of crisp up this line. Sometimes I'll go back over the edge of the table to do that. Like that. Okay, so now we're going to set this spout up against the pot, like this. There we go. Okay, you'll notice we have a problem, right? We need this edge here to be flush to the pot, but we've got all this clay in the way here. So we're going to need to bevel this now. So I'm going to remove that extra clay with my X-Acto knife, like this. Try and um, stay a little bit clear of the actual edge out here. If you start cutting into that, it will um, it'll be hard to make this into a nice line against the pot, and it'll get kind of feathery. So give yourself a little tiny uh, kind of bit of border area. Um, <clears throat> okay. There we go. And now the only thing left to do is just to continue to tip this out. Okay, so I have a spout that's already prepared. This one would need to firm up a little bit and I'd need to fiddle with it a little bit more before attaching it to the pitcher. Uh, so I'm gonna take this one, which fits, and I'm going to attach it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is just trace the outline of the spout against the pot. I'm just using my knife. And what I'm doing now is just making uh, kind of a scoring line. So I'm, um, I'm just drawing a line where I'm gonna need to score inside of. So there's my mark. I'm going to move in a quarter of an inch and just draw another line. And then in order for coffee to come out of this coffee pot, we have to remove some clay here. So what I'm going to do is just make this sort of arc shape. And I'm going to remove this. Um, always take your lid off before picking up your coffee pot. <clears throat> so I'm going to cut this away to begin with. So I'm just going to plunge the knife straight in and follow my line. There we go. So the inside of that cut edge, really both surfaces, um, will be sharp. So I like to just wet my finger and run it over um, the cut surfaces like that. Okay, then we need to score. Okay, so you can see my, um, my marks here. I'm just going to score inside those marks. It's my sort of quarter inch uh, wide area for attaching. I'm using one of those like five prong scoring tools. They work great. I highly recommend using these. OK, 
Okay, next step is I'm going to score the attachment area of the spout. Notice when I'm scoring, I always go in two directions, and there's really no um, kind of unscored clay in the area uh, that I'm scoring, right? You need to be really thorough with scoring. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of slip, which I've made up here. Um, I made the slip by drying out trimmings fully and then soaking them in water. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of my slip and apply a thin layer to one side of the attachment. Um, with nice thick slip like this, you really don't need to score, um, slip both surfaces. I'm just going to press the spout on, make sure you kind of look at it from straight on. You want to be sure that you attach the spout um, straight. And then just work your way around it and press in. And you want to see a little bit of slip kind of squish out of the attachment point. See that? See how the slip squeezes out right where the attachment's happening? That's the best way to know that your attachment's going to hold, because you're working your way around that um, seam. So the next step is we just need to compress the area um, of the attachment. So I'm just going to use a tool called a clay shaper. You can use the end of a pencil or a, or a paintbrush. I just use these because I have them. But you just want to poke this tool right into that area where the attachment's happening and compress it a little bit with some kind of a pointed tool. These are pretty useful, actually. They're little rubber-tipped kind of clay tools. They're firm, but they give a little bit. Okay, so I just want to talk for a moment about getting these pot, these types of pots to pour well. Okay guys, so here's what I wanna talk about. Um, when we're going to pour, um, we want the coffee pot not to drip. So I'm gonna use this piece of um, material here to kind of show where the water level would be, so or the coffee level. So if, if you fill this pot up to the point where coffee would start to move into the spout, and that's where you stop, right? So we're right about here. And then we're gonna start pouring at the point where coffee will start coming out the spout, which is the point we're at now, the edge of that spout is almost vertical. That's a good indication that the pot's not going to drip. So you just want to keep that in mind. This edge here is almost vertical, which means the coffee can fall off, and when you go to write it, it'll just get cut off, rather than um, dripping down the front of the spout. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching the templated spout demo for our coffee pot. Um, stay tuned for the handle demonstration next.